Japanese commercials. Easiest money you'll ever make. <laughs> Grand Larson is right up there. You ready for this? No worries. I do my own stunts. Hey, you're just a ride along, man. So don't get all Hong Kong style in there. I am a method actor. If I'm gonna play a saint with any degree of emotional truth, I gotta make it real. Trust me, Burke. It'll be real. You're robbing a bank dressed like yourselves. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want to be Johnny Gett? Ultra postmodernism. I love it. I'm cool with the Saints movie, but do we really gotta drag this asshole actor around? Cut Josh some slack. He's just researching his part. Yeah, I hope he signed a waiver. All right, people. Nobody moves! Nobody dies! Burke! Sorry, jumps his line. Can we, uh, can we go again? You all know the drill. Can I get a picture with the boss? Say sleaze. Get in line, bitch. Hey, don't be a dick. Would you call yourself gangbangers? You're a bunch of pussies. We should be all up in their shit like... Fuck! <laughs> Oh, that's different. You got a plan or we just shooting all these motherfuckers? That is my plan. Works for me. I can't believe you lost that giant perception! I can't believe he's 
still thinking about it. Do you want to know who these people are? Listen, all that matters is the vault. Let's find that and get the hell out of here. Is this what it's normally like? Normally, the tellers don't use fucking shotguns. Yeah, normally banks don't look like a palace either. You see those statues before you blow them up? You forget the horse that these guards are packing military-grade hardware. Who the hell are we robbing? I can't breathe. <sighs> no way we're cracking this thing. Ready for plan B? Yep. Josh, get over here. Got the tools right here, Holmes. So, uh, what's plan B? Huh? Drill it. <laughs> Fuck no. We blow it. What? D not cool, man. Time to get to work. We'll need to set those above the vault. Hey, I think we've got company. Looks like they're coming in from the lobby. You think you can stop us? Shondi. Why? We need to talk. We really don't. It's just, if I die here, I don't want things to go sad. I should be so lucky. Like old times, huh, Shondi? Hey, Josh Burke. Don't be starstruck. Very approachable. Want me to uh, sign your breasts? Uh, no. That's all right. Yeah, you know. Bye, night. Let's get the chopper and lift this baby out of here. Hey, guys! You can call up the helicopter. Found the way to open the ball. Don't touch it! Josh, are you trying to get us all jail time? What? I don't want to be some dude's bitch. Do I have to go after him? Forget about it, he'll be fine. How long until the chopper gets here? I don't know. Probably like two waves of SWAT guys. Sounds about right. Here they come! Flashbang! You really had something there. Oh, don't even go there. Hey, the same.
Please read what's on the card. These kids with the my next idea? Stripper vision. It'd be like your own personal stripper in a giant television like box. Is this? We paid up this month. Someone paid more. 
What happened? We got arrested. No, to us. Burke's right. We traded our dicks in for pussies. Seriously. Movie deals, commercials. Saint's name used to mean something more than body spray and some ass-tasting energy drink. Our brand's worth a shitload of money. Is that what it's all about? It's always about the money, Mr. Gat. Which is precisely why our employer wishes to speak with you. If you'll indulge us. You have any idea who you fucking with here? Of course. A remarkable likeness. These visions are Viola and Kiki, and I am Philippe Laurent, chairman of a multinational organization called The Syndicate. Never heard of it. Evidently not, or you would not have robbed our bank. Perhaps you wonder why you are still breathing at this point. Actually, I wonder why my foot's not up your ass at this point. <laughs> like it or not, Mr. Gatt, our organization is expanding into still water. I am offering you the chance to leverage your assets against your lives. Ladies? You may continue to operate the Saints Old Tour Media Group as you see fit, in exchange for 66% of your monthly gross revenue. That is before taxes, of course. Listen, you French fuck. Please. I am Belgian. So make yourself a fucking waffle. We done here. And I had so hoped to come to a rational business arrangement. Details. Just cover the boss. Go. I got this. We can't leave Johnny. Don't worry about Gat, girl. Worry about these assholes. Attention, passengers. This is your new captain speaking. Our updated flight plan has us landed in Stillwater. I'd like to remind all passengers to remain seated and enjoy the flight. See? Johnny's enjoying himself. Oh, I can see some of our passengers are getting restless. Here's some relaxing music for your enjoyment. Oh, yeah. 
to jump. Right on. I'll see you in still. Johnny. Ready to die? Just warm enough! like it's gonna try to ram us. What do you mean, don't freak out? Do you have a plan? If I shoot out the window, I can land inside it, cap Philippe, then jump out the back. You mean we, right? I'll be back in a minute. Wait, what? Shoot out the window? The fuck was I thinking?
girl? <laughs> You're a fucking asshole! Yeah, I have my moments! Gentlemen, negotiations were less than successful. Viola and Kiki will spread the word. Steelport belongs to the Syndicate, and the Saints are not welcome. Mr. Kilbane, gather your luchadores and bring me their leader's head. Mr. Miller, hack into the Saints' accounts and leave them nothing. The body of Mr. Gat will be a message for all who oppose the Syndicate. There is no mercy, only death. Don't mourn your friend. You'll be joining him soon. Loren's gonna pay for this. Shawnee, where the fuck are we? Steelport. It's kinda like bank. Abusive father. You used to live here or something? Spring break. Hey, what's up with the field boss sign? You don't want to know. Yeah, whatever. You know the city well? Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. What about getting a gun? Why don't you just look up friendly fire on your phone? What, and call them? It has GPS, right? Check your map. Call Pierce and let him know what happened. I texted him. He's bringing the crew. Whole crew? Any idea how we'll load them out? Yeah, we raid the guard armory. That's what I love about you, girl. You can't be serious. Goddamn right I'm serious. What's the problem? Getting shot comes to mind. Did you not see me fly through a damn plane? Also a shitty idea. Ooh, did our little reality star forget where she came from? Not cool. I can't rob an armory. I have an immunity challenge to run. All right, all right. We'll pick a fight with the military. That's my girl. Wow, that still exists? You used to hang there? That's where I used to score weed. Got anyone you could trust around here? Yeah, I keep up with one of my exes. So we have a crash space big enough for the crew? I already offered it to Pierce and the boys. It, well, no, that wasn't an answer. I know. That's where I had my first... Um, on second thought, that one's kind of personal. Put to a violent and destructive test in Stillwater. Patrons of a local bank were subjected to a mock holdup by this... Here's the cash I have on me. We close to the armory? Not far, it's on the GPS. Like some hellish children's book, the sky has fallen in Steelport. Ten people are dead after several cars came raining out of the sky, crushing an apartment building in a fiery blaze. Dozens of bodies, along with a number of crates and mangled vehicles, filled the streets nearby. Looters raided the scene before the police arrived, salvaging car stereos and sex dolls from the debris. The city morgue has not released the names of the victims killed in what seems to be a mid-air accident, and no plane wreckage has been found. This is Jane Valderrama, with your Steelport Disaster Report.